Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with soil mechanics uh, in the topic of coefficient of permeability. So the question is, calculate the coefficient of permeability of soil is 6 centimeter height and 50 centimeter in cross sectional area. If the quantity of water is 450 ml passed down in 10 minutes under the effective constant height of 40 centimeter. On over drying, the specimen weighs 495 grams and the specific gravity is 2.65. Calculate the seepage velocity. So first we have to find out the coefficient of permeability and uh, after that we can calculate the seepage velocity. Okay, so the given value is... So the given is uh, the sample length that is L equal to that is 6 centimeter then uh, cross sectional area A equal to 50 centimeter square then quantity of water collected Q is equal to 450 ml that is a given so then uh, time T equal to 10 minutes so 10 minutes that is given so that is uh, 600 seconds next H small H equal to 40 centimeter so that is constant head method so constant head is 40 centimeter so then uh, mass equal to 495 grams so then specific gravity is given 2.65 okay so now we have to find out the coefficient of permeability k and uh, seepage velocity v s Okay, so the formula for the in the constant head method, the formula for coefficient of permeability, so K is equal to Q into L divided by A T H. Okay, so we can directly substitute all the values over here. So the Q is uh, 450 ml into, so then the length is uh, 6 centimeter divided by, so the area is uh, given that is 50 centimeter square into time is 600 seconds into h with the value is uh, 40 centimeter okay so we can substitute all the values we got the value uh, answer 2.25 into 10 power minus 3 centimeter per second okay so we find out the first question answer so second thing we have to find out the seepage velocity so now this uh, v equal to capital Q divided by A into T so uh, Q is 450 that's a given divided by area also given 50 into time is 600 seconds okay so now we got the value uh, 0 0.015 centimeter per second for seepage velocity, so first we have to find out the dry density. So dry density equal to mass by volume. So that is mass of specimen divided by area into length that is volume. So mass is uh, 495 that is a given, area is uh, 50 that is also given into uh, length of sample 6 is given. So from that we uh, we can find out uh, zero point sorry one point six five gram per centimeter cube. Okay, so now gamma d equal to rho d into nine point eight one. So now uh, rho d is equal to uh, one point six five into nine point eight one. So we got the value of 16.1865. So now the settling velocity V s equal to V divided by n. Okay. So now uh, we have to find out the n value. So n value we can find out from gamma d. So gamma d equal to G into gamma w divided by 1 plus E. So we can substitute all the values. So gamma d equal 16.1865 equal to so g value is 2.65 into gamma d is 9.81 divided by 1 plus e. So the only unknown is e. 
so from that uh, we can find out the e is equal to 0 0.606 okay so now uh, we have to find out the n value so from the e so n equal to e divided by 1 plus e so this is a formula we know so e equal to 0 0.606 divided by 1 plus 0 0.606 that is 1.606 from that uh, we got the value of 0 0.3773 that is 37.73 percentage that is the n value ok so now we can substitute all the values over here so v is equal to 0 0.015 that's a given sorry that's a that we find out and uh, n value is uh, 0 0.3773 so from that we got the value of 0 0.03975 centimeter per second ok so this is the uh, settling velocity sorry this is the seepage velocity so this is the method we can solve the problem again we will see in next video thank you